Yo, what's up YouTube? What's going on today? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I want to talk about what happened to Sasuke during the time skip. Now, there's been a lot of speculations on where Sasuke is. Some people saying he's dead. Some people saying he's alive, but he's hidden somewhere or he's doing something else in the village. Why Boruto's wearing his clothing and everything. I think that reason has been revealed in this Boruto chapter. Now, this is just my theory of what happened. And I think this might actually be the case. And that being Sasuke has been sealed away by the Grime Claws. Now, you're probably wondering how the hell did Sasuke get sealed away? The answer lies in these panels where Kawaki mentions Boruto is in Uchiha and Sorata mentions that even after turning into a tree, you're still alive. So let's get down to this video. <laughs> Now, Sasuke has been sealed away by the Grime Claws. So what I think happened during the time skip is that Boruto and Sasuke were training or they were resting after their training and Code attacked them with the Grime Claws. Now, during this attack, Boruto and Sasuke were unarmed. And while they were unarmed, Code's Grime Claws and Code attacked Boruto. Sasuke went to protect Boruto and him protecting Boruto resulted in Sasuke getting bit by the Grime Claws. Thus, Sasuke getting bitten by the Grime Claws, Sasuke got sealed away. Now, this was purposely done by the creators. As we know that Naruto and Sasuke are created evenly and that if something happens to one, the same thing happens to the other. And since Naruto got sealed away by Kawaki, Sasuke got sealed away by Code. Since Code and Kawaki are actually more aligned than Boruto and Kawaki. Since Kawaki and Code are polar opposites of each other. They are polar opposites but to the extent that they resonate with one another. Code has the bad karma, Kawaki has the good karma. Where Code's karma can't do anything and Kawaki's karma could do everything. And they also show us that Code lost everybody while Kawaki gained everybody. Because in the beginning, Kawaki had nobody but he ended up gaining everything code had code and kawaki are the true polar opposites of each other and that is a writer trying to tell us that code and kawaki are the two people who will fight each other and thus code seals sasuke kawaki seals naruto and this was the writer's way of taking out sasuke so that he doesn't die or anything like that so when sasuke got bit by the grime claws he wasn't dressed up he didn't have his sword or nothing on him so when he got turned into a tree boruto had to run away with sasuke's sealed away body or kashin koji helped him move sasuke away and we do know that sasuke Sasuke is alive because the manga purposely gives us these panels where Sarada talking about how those people that are bit by the grime claws are still alive. In my opinion, there's no reason to put Sarada's panel there, but they gave us that panel on purpose with Sarada mentioning that anybody who gets bit by the grime claws is actually still alive. So that is hinting that whatever happened to Boruto in the time skip and whoever got bit by the grime claws, they're all still alive. So that means Sasuke is still alive, but he has turned into a tree. Thus, Boruto wants to go to the Tentails to turn back Sasuke or possibly fix up the Tentails because because these Grime Claws are attacking everybody. So Boruto has seen the true horrors of the Tentils. So that's what really happened during the time skip. Sasuke got sealed away while protecting Boruto from Code and his Grime Claws. And during that moment, Boruto and possibly Kashin Koji took Sasuke away and hid him somewhere. Which is why we don't see Sasuke in the time skip when Boruto goes to the village to protect it from Code. We see Boruto using abilities that Kashin Koji would have taught him because Sasuke's main animals are a hawk and a snake. That means he would have taught Boruto either a hawk or a snake but he didn't and Boruto learned frog summoning instead. That means that Sasuke wasn't Boruto's teacher during the time skip and that it was Kashin Koji. So that means that Sasuke is out of the picture and is sealed away. And to further back this is the fact that Boruto is using Sasuke's sword and possibly his cape. So if Sasuke got sealed away during the time skip, he most likely didn't have his sword on him and he most likely wasn't dressed. And in that case, Boruto took Sasuke's sword and cape. Though I am leaning more towards the sword, I don't think Boruto uses Sasuke's cape because of the height difference. Unless Boruto cut the cape because because Boruto is about 163 centimeters tall while Sasuke is about 180. So that is Boruto being 5'3 to 5'4 while Sasuke is about 6 feet. So there's a big difference in their height. So most likely Boruto is using Sasuke's equipment because Sasuke had no use for it when he got sealed. And thus this is a homage to Sasuke. And to further back that Boruto is wearing Sasuke's clothing and is possibly a future Uchiha is Kawaki making a joke about Boruto looking like an Uchiha. That is done purposely by the creators to hint us that Boruto might take the last name of Uchiha in the future and that Boruto looks like Sasuke because Boruto is wearing Sasuke's equipment and that tells us that Sasuke is sealed away. And this also goes back to chapter 2 when Boruto and Sarada confront Code we have Boruto not looking at Sarada at all. This is goes to show us that Boruto couldn't look at Sarada. Boruto felt that he let down Sarada by letting Sasuke get sealed. He destroyed the hopes of the only person who believed in him so that's why he couldn't look at her and tells her we'll talk later implying that he will tell her what happened. So that's why I think Sasuke actually got sealed during the time skip he got taken by the grime claws and that is the reason why boruto is using sasuke's equipment and boruto has toad summoning because kashin koji 
Uzuhi taught him how to use the toads. On top of that, Borto has Rasengan Uzuhiko, which is a wind-based jutsu. So someone who has experience in wind nature would be able to train Borto on how to use Rasengan Uzuhiko. And that being Kashin Koji again. And so to wrap this up, that means that Borto's master and teacher is Kashin Koji, Sasuke is sealed away, Borto is using Sasuke's equipment, and Borto can't look at Sarada because he let her down by letting Sasuke get taken. And thus the only way to fix Sasuke is to go to the Ten Tails and Borto being an Atsusuki, he might be able to control the Ten Tails and fix all the Grime Claws. Thus everybody who has turned into a tree will go back to normal. So that's my theory, that's my idea, let me know what you guys think. Now I just want to say I know this video is a bit late, I've been busy lately, I haven't had time to make any videos, edit them, anything like that, man's been super busy bro. So I just want to let you guys know that my video uploads will probably be once or twice a month until I'm done from all my work. So that's it for this video, thanks for watching, please comment, like, and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos to come.